let's try that once more time one more time once more with feeling that's looking a bit better um good morning even later now and um, because the video was the wrong way around so we've come out and come back in again and hopefully we are now the right way round. It's looking certainly more optimistic on my phone. I get a little red button on it that says live and it should be whatever orientation I've got my phone in. It should be in the top right hand corner. Um, it was in the bottom left when I first started. So that's never looking good. Um, I'd somehow managed to switch auto rotate off on my phone. But there we go. We're back. My name is Helen Jennings. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator here in the UK. And as I was just saying before on my previous video, um, it's a cold and frosty morning here. We have got frost on the ground and um, people are having to scrape their cars this morning. So I'm very grateful to be here in the warm and not having to go out to get a car going um, this morning. OK, so our product of the week this week is going to be something that actually as a customer you can't get your hands on until later in the week. But I thought in the run up to that, in the run up to the 1st of November, which is what Friday, isn't it? And um, we would have a little play with this Christmas time is here sweet. Um, and it is, as I say, going live on the 1st of November. So going live on Friday to customers. If you want it today, you can get it today, but you would need to have it as part of a starter kit or to be um, a demonstrator already. <coughs> But um, I've had mine now for a, couple, for a couple of weeks. Haven't had much of a chance to play with it, I have to say, um, which is why I thought another good reason why we would play with it this week. So let's have a little look. This is the um, flyer that um, I've printed out. Mine's been eaten by the printer slightly. So let's just cover that one up. Um, so it's the Christmas time is here, sweet bundle. And in the bundle you get, and I'll show it to you in real life in a minute, you get... Um, some 12 by 12 papers with gold foiling on one side you get two stamp sets you get a die set you get some glittery gold um, embellishments you get some glittery gold ribbon and you can also get um, a bracelet so if you want the whole bundle that's everything that comes in the bundle you can of course just get the stamp set and die bundle um, and these are pictures of things and the individual items but I will show you those in real life so let's do that now and um, so what have we got the first thing is um, that's a little bit unusual about this suite um, that they haven't done before is you do get two stamp sets in the bundle now one is this outline of these roses and they've got pine cones and things in there to make them sort of Christmassy and it does give you I mean obviously you can disguise those as other things um, and make it a non Christmassy card but you get this lovely outline and this is a red rubber stamp so you get this lovely outline stamp in red rubber so if you want to do anything sort of involving any heat or any of those sorts of things you can do with your rubber stamps so that's your outline stamp the other stamp that you get is actually a photopolymer one and it's a photopolymer one for good reason because although we can use these stamps as standalones you can also use them to infill the color on your first stamp and of course if you want to use them to infill the color on there you want to be able to see through them to line them up so a really good stand on its own stamp set but used in combination with this one, these ones can add colour to that one. Um, so that's the idea of that. You've got some nice greetings on there. Um, wishing you the gifts of the season. May this Christmas fill your heart with warmth and love. And Merry Christmas. So, yeah, some lovely. And you've got sort of lots of little spots and dots that you can add on to your images. So you can see that here they actually infill all these little bits just here those spots and dots but they're quite good to be used on their own um, yeah you've got the foliage pieces you've got the roses you've got a little pine cone just there so lots of lovely little bits in that stamp set so those are the two stamp sets you then also get a die set that goes with it and so you have the big die morning Megan um, Oh, you didn't know that one infilled the other? Oh, yes. Yes, it does. So you get the big 
die and that will obviously die cut although it wasn't bad was it although of course it's the wrong way around that will die cut your rose but it, it will also die cut some of the images from your paper you've got a couple of nice sort of little um, label dies that you can use for your greetings either in this set or anything else you've got these really nice ornate corners that are really pretty and you get two of those you get this long strip just here like a border strip and then you get this wider strip just sort of latticey strip just here so really um, nice useful little um, ornamental dies most of those apart from the big one oh dear div well let's hope you're more in than cutting out Oh, I can't slip that back in there. There you go, that's it. So that's your two stamp sets that work together or independently. That's your die set. Um, you also get some gold glittery ribbon. and It has got sort of a glimmer to it. And you can actually colour this ribbon with um, blends. And if you do that, you still get that hint of glimmer coming through after you've coloured it, which is quite good. So you've got a glimmery ribbon, a nice shade of sort of gold. And then you've also got these glimmer dots. I don't know whether we're going to pick up the glimmer. Oh, that's not bad. You've got a variety of sizes in the glimmer dots. They're really pretty. And then, of course, the papers. So on one side, we've got just these patterns. So that's a really nice Christmassy paper with those pine cones and foliage on. You've got that nice swirl that you could either use for Christmas or would be really good. Thank you, Angie. Um, and thank you, Megan. This is a really nice pattern. So at least two of those could be quite generic. They don't have to be for Christmas. And then if we turn it over, this is where you get your gold foiling. So you get your gold foiling on those roses. And that is the one I think that you can cut out using that die. Really pretty. This is lovely. So that's all gold foiled in there. You get that beautiful glimmer. And then these are the smaller roses. Really pretty papers. And obviously that definitely doesn't have to just be for Christmas. That could be for any time of the year. So really pretty papers. So papers and the other thing that you get in your suite, and I am modeling that is the bracelet. So here's the little bangle. It's got a stamping up um, charm on it and this lovely little rose charm on it. And if you're here in the UK, um, I, I'm still running my promotion till the end of the week that if you place an order with me of £30 or more, your name will go into a drawer and at the weekend I will draw out a name of somebody that's going to win one of these bracelets. So this one obviously is mine, but it's quite a nice bangle and it does sort of, it's got a good opening on it. So it will open up quite wide to get your arm in and then sort of squeezes up so that it doesn't fall off. So um, yeah, quite nifty and really quite pretty. So that's the little bangle. So to say, I haven't had much chance to play with this yet. I have literally made one card um, and I did this during the retreat this was the one thing that I got made of during the day I kept going bit back and adding a little bit more and adding a little bit more but I've sort of gold embossed the rose and then I've used the other stamps to do that in filling so there's the rose ones and there's all the leaves and the little blobby bits um, so yeah it's just a question of matching them up and you can use all those little photopolymer stamps to colour in your um, big stamp so that's, a, that's quite exciting. So that's the only card that I've yet had to make. But I have printed out the samples that um, Stamping Up have put onto the website. So this one obviously looks like it's been coloured watercolour pencils or something, I would think, that one. And there's a sort of Merry Christmas all over the background just here. And they've used that um, long border die alongside some ribbon to make that border. This one has been stamped in white embossing powder and watercoloured. That's really pretty. Here we have a little box using some of that paper. 
and some of these dies. They've got these ornate dies either side of this label and then this die going at the back here. Quite pretty. And then we've got this one. I think that's the papers that have been fussy cut and layered up. It's really pretty, isn't it? That gold foiling on it. And then there's the one that we're going to have a go at this morning, which is this top one just here. So we're going to have a little go at recreating that one. We can't quite case the catalogue, but we're going to case the samples this morning. So I've had a look and work out, worked out what I think they've done. Let's see what happens when we give it a go. Right, so let me move my card to one side and bring in the ink pads and things. Gold embossing pattern. Now this card here has got a white card base with um, a layer of gold foil on. I have tweaked that slightly because we have got these lovely gold foiled cards and envelopes so you can get either the gold foil the cards with the gold foiling around the edge and the envelopes with the gold foiling or you can get them as well in silver so I thought why not make use of one of these gold foil cards and I did find those those are in the annual catalogue I double checked to make sure I wasn't going mad to make sure they're still there um, so there they are foil edge cards and envelopes um, and then £9.25 for a pack of 20 cards with the envelopes and as I say you either get the gold ones or you get the silver ones I think we're going to go for gold let's go for gold so we're going to use one of those rather than an ordinary white card with a foil background on it if we've got them why not use them so that's going to be our card base so I have cut a piece of whisper white card that's going to fit onto the top there because I thought I wouldn't be that brave as to try and stamp directly onto this card but not only that some of the images are going to go off the edge anyway so that I would do it on a separate piece of card um, and it measured um, that little gap in there actually measured I think it was was it three inches or three and a half inches three and three quarter inches it actually measured three and three quarter inches by five hi Chrissy so I've just taken it an eighth of an inch, no, a sixteenth of an inch bigger for this white card just to make sure that um, I can take it over the edge of that white panel. Gives me just that little bit of a sixteenth of an inch wiggle room to be able to take it over the side of the panel. So we have our gold card waiting to be our base. I have a piece of wisp white card and I have some early espresso, some real red some cherry cobbler and some mossy meadow ink and we will see how we get on with our card I'm going to bring that card in just to the one side I've also got some gold embossing powder there and obviously ladies I have a cup of tea so a quick slurp of that and let us find some stamps and some blocks <coughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this large, so we're going to just use the photopolymer stamps for this one. And we're going to take this large rose. Um, and you can see, can't you, that, that you can see the, um, the detail in that stamp. So it, although it looks at first sight like a big blob, it isn't. You can actually see that little detail that there is in that stamp. So let's grab a block. It's going to fit that stamp and I think D block it is so we've got a, a D size block oh no sound I hope everybody else has got sound <laughs> shout if not I'm sure somebody would have said by now I can't hear you um, got me worrying now Chrissy <coughs> right we're going to take our real red ink block. Oh, now I had a class last week and um, I had some enthusiastic stampers. I've just opened up my ink pad. Look at that. That's not looking good, is it? That's copper ink on my red ink pad. Can we just... Oh, good. Good, Megan. Phew. 
hopefully Chrissy will get her, um, her sorted out. I'm just going to take that copper ink off the top. Luckily being a pigment ink it does sit quite nicely on the top. Um, there's a, a, there is a cautionary tale as to why you need to clean your stamps, ladies, before you um, stamp again because otherwise you get blobby messes like that left on your ink pads. Now you can really see that detail coming out now, I've put some ink on it. So this is some real red ink, let's find, let's find a sponge mat to go underneath here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one rose in this corner. Look at that. A beautiful image. We're going to swing it round and do the other rows in that corner. So we've got two roses. I know what I haven't bought through and that is my stamping scrub. I did that last week. Put it to soak in the sink haven't brought it through so let's get our stamping scrub out and give that a spritz so that we are we are ready to clean our stamps okay going to use some of this greenery. Let's go with this stamp here. Is that going to fit on that block? Yes, good old D block. Still going strong. I'm not convinced I want to use that one. I think I want this one with a bit more. Excuse my arms. I'm going to go this one that's got a few more sort of piney needles on it, I think. Let's ink that up with some mossy meadow. And we'll have that there. And I think have a bit more coming there. And we'll have some coming there. And a bit more there. And then there. And there. So we've just built up a little bit of that greenery around the edge. Now I'm going to take um, I'm going to take a little tiny this little tidy stamp with this um, pine cone on it. And we'll take some early espresso. Actually, before we do that, I think we'll actually see if we can line up, decide which of the spots. So in amongst these stamp set, there's all these little spotty elements. Now let's have a little look and see which of those spotty elements we're going to want to use. That one, I think. So let's take some cherry copper ink. Let's put in a few, a few little cherry cobbler dots. We'll put some there. 
and some there and some there and do the same with this one that's filled in that blank a little bit and now we'll go in with our early espresso with our pine cone we'll have one there one down there we have one filling in that gap just there I think we'll have one coming here one in that little gap down there just filling in these filling in the blanks with a few little pine cones just to build that up okay so there we have top and bottom corner these lovely roses now actually it does say about doing a um a watercolor um a stamping white marker splatter and it suggests doing it in black but that seems a bit of an odd color to do it in to me i think i'm going to have a bit of a dig about see yes if i can find the mossy meadow i think that makes a little bit more sense let's put our lids on these stamp sets so that we don't stick our hands in them i'll clean those up in just a minute and then let's just add so just by flicking your brush end On the lid of your pen just added in some splatters and I think that's better with mossy meadow than it would be in black it suggests black on the label of um, on the list of ingredients um, that comes with this stamp set but I think I prefer that green okay so the last thing we need to do then is add in our sentiment so for that we're going to use this nice big curly Merry Christmas Let's take that off of there. Oh, we have got one more job to do, actually. But we'll come back to that in a second. Let's find, I've got a little piece of Whisper White card just here. And we're just going to use our Memento ink. always good to add a bit of sponge underneath your photopolymer stamps because they don't have they don't all have that give themselves like the rubber ones do it's good to add that in so we are just going to stamp that in the middle of this piece of card in tuxedo black memento ink got a little bit of a blob on there now is it a bit of a muck on the card let me just stamp that on the other side card is meant to have two sides isn't it let's come in on that side oh look at that I don't know Helen I don't think that piece is going to be big enough I did have another oddment of card here somewhere yes third time lucky Hopefully this time we shall get a complete image that we've completely inked up without added blobs. What do we think? That's better. Just goes to show we all, we all do it. Right, now we're going to need a little die just there and obviously a machine to cut it with let's pick that up for a minute Ooh. put that 
down on the speaker wire. That won't do, will it? So we've got one of those funny weeks this week when it's sort of a bit of a, a few sort of fifth days. I've got a fifth Tuesday, fifth Wednesday, fifth Thursday. Um, and because all my classes and things, I have them scheduled normally to a pretty sort of structured schedule because that helps everybody else know when they are as well as helping me know when they are. Um, it does tend to mean that on fifth weeks, I don't tend to have quite so much going on. Um, but that doesn't mean that I haven't got a lot to do. There we go. You do get a nice sort of edge, border edge around the outside of this as well. Um, I have got my first ever online class. So it's going to be via a Facebook group happening this week. So that will be something new. We'll see how that goes. People have had their kits um, and um, we're going to beautiful we're going to be having an online class via Facebook we're going to invite them into a exclusive Facebook group um, and we're going to be making some um, lovely things with the um, the Christmas the father Christmas suite and the memory and more cards the weather here if you ask Megan is is frosty today we are very frosty Although the sun is shining it's a beautiful bright morning there's frost on the ground um, but they did warn us it was going to be a bit colder this week. Uh, but that's okay. Bright, cold, frosty mornings are are quite nice. Right, where's that other little... So what I'm going to do, actually, before I put this together... So, yes, yeah, so I've got my sad. I've got my first online class this week on Wednesday. Um, and then Saturday, over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, it was originally planned that we were going to be doing a 24-hour craft-a-thon. Um, but the charity, I think I said on Thursday, the charity that I'm raising money for um, are just moving into a new unit. Um, so with one thing and another, we have decided... Excellent, Angie, good plan. We have decided that we are going to postpone the 24 hour craft -a thon until the new year, but we are having a craft day on Saturday. So, if anybody is local and wants to come and see us at Great Doddington Memorial Hall, we'll be there from 10 till 6 on Saturday. Just craft in along all day. Come and come and craft with us, bring your own projects, come and see what we're up to, have a cake and a coffee. Um, so, we're looking forward to that. Right, what I've got here is a little stamp <coughs> and one of these little blobby stamps morning Sally and I'm just going to add a couple of little elements of gold embossing onto the top of these roses just for a bit of glitz and glamour let's get my heat embossing Going out. And heat that up. There's one gone. There goes the other. So now we've got some shiny, shiny bits on there. So all that remains is to bring this all together. So we're going to bring in crash bang wallop. Let's bring in some of our little um, enamel dots and some of our ribbon. So the first thing we're going to do is put in a little um, swirl of ribbon across the back there so let's take some um, tear and tape Ooh. across the back there take that back off so 
So what sort of cards are you making, Angie? Is it sort of general birthday cards and things, or is it, are you going down the Christmas route? Right, so let's just swirl this ribbon across the back here. And bring it back for good measure. <coughs> Oh, miss that. And we will lift that up onto some dimensionals. On there like that. Let's bring in some Tombow and we will stick this to our guard card base. Ooh, that's looking like it's set on the end. That isn't going to go anywhere. There we go. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Bring in our gold edged foil card base. Like that. Now, are we going to add in a couple of little glimmer dots just for, just because we can? I think we'll just put in some of the small ones. We have one there because. Should never do things just in ones and twos. Let's have a let's have a third one in just there. There we go. So here is our card that we are casing. So as I said, that one is on a white card base with some gold foil around it. But I've chosen to use one of the gold foil cards, and that is just using the photopolymer stamps. Um, that you can also use to infill your big stamp and we haven't yet today used any we didn't use any of the paper today but I did use that on the card that I made the other day that I've now buried somewhere safely um, and we'll make sure that we use some of the paper when we come back in on Thursday no I've put that in a really safe place so when I come back in on Thursday we'll make sure that we use some of that paper but as I say this is not something that you can yet get your hands on this goes live to customers on um, Friday on November the 1st um, and then you will be able to get either the whole sweet bundle that includes the papers the two stamp sets the dies the glitter dots the ribbon and the bracelet, the bangle, um, or you'll be able to just buy the bundles or you'll be able to buy everything separately. It's entirely up to you. The two stamp sets do come as a sort of whole. You do get the two stamp sets, um, but that, that's, um, that big stamp set, £35, and it is a distinctive stamp set. So these photopolymer ones are distinctive stamps which you can tell just by the detail you get. So November the 1st, on Friday, unless you are already a demonstrator, in which case you can get it now. Um, but really pretty and just does really give you some different sorts of Christmas cards if you're looking for something a little bit different or um, particularly for your, you Australian ladies, you don't necessarily want a whole host of snowmen and things. Um, the idea of being able to have something a bit different on your Christmas cards, I'm sure, um, is a valuable one. And this ribbon is really pretty. So the little elements, even if you didn't want the stamp set and things, the little, the little things like the little glimmer dots um, and the ribbon, the shimmery ribbon, is really pretty as well. So Christmas time is here. 
the sweet coming to a demonstrator near you very soon um, so do come back on Thursday and we will play with this a little bit more I've now made two cards with it that's very exciting everybody have a really lovely week I hope the sun shines for you but not too hot um, and I will be back and see you all on Thursday <laughs>